Many businesses rank cybersecurity among their main focuses. The expanded uses of technology to drive critical business operations has resulted in an increase in cybercrime. Cyber threats are increasing rapidly and are becoming more of a problem lately. And that's why successful attacks have a tragic impact for the victim, including damaged reputation, financial loss, and compromised business and customer data, among other things. Now, that's when cybersecurity tools come into picture. It helps us safeguard ourselves from unwanted security threats and breaches, thus avoiding losses. So if you want to learn more about it and feel the need to dig deeper into it, sit tight as we bring to you all the information that you need right on your screens. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing. So make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to comment on the video. Any queries or suggestions and I will respond to your comments. Let's discuss the agenda for this entire course. Initially, we'll brush up about cyber security and its need. You will get to know about the different types of cyber security. Then we'll focus on what are cyber threats and the sources of cyber threats. Next, we'll discuss about the most important topic in this course that is what are cyber security tools and the features of cyber security tools. Next, we'll discuss about the top cybersecurity tools and the benefits of cybersecurity tools. Hope the agenda is clear to all of you. With no further delay, let's get into this course. The world we live in is network like a mesh, including our finances, social profile, and governmental infrastructure. Cybersecurity by default has become a necessity. Cybersecurity encompasses everything from protecting personal information to intellectual property from deliberate attempts of damage and theft. Risks are festering as the world leans more towards cloud services and global connectivity. For example, Facebook had a security breach where hundreds of millions of Facebook user records were exposed on Amazon cloud server. According to content delivery network provider Akamai, gaming industry has been the biggest victim of cyber attacks in the past couple of years. Now let's look at the definition of cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is a practice of protecting systems and networks from digital attacks. With the tremendous advancement in technology, the risk involved also increases rapidly. Cybersecurity literally plays the role of a savior that saves us from falling into the pit. Hope you all have understood what is cybersecurity. Let's understand the need for cybersecurity with the example of LinkedIn phishing scam. I guess most of you know what is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is world's most popular employment service website for job seekers. Recently, LinkedIn was subjected to a cyber attack where 500 million users profile data was sold online. All of you might be thinking, from where did hackers gain this information? Very simple. Hackers sent fraudulent job offers to users and by making them click on malicious link, the hackers gained all the sensitive information. This sounds interesting, but it's quite dangerous. We have now stepped into a new phase in this digital world where cyber crimes are increasing rapidly with the advancement in technology. So cyber security is playing a major role in protecting data from data breaches in various organizations. So what is data breach? Data breach is nothing but stealing information from an organization system without the consent of the owner. Hope you all understood what is the need for cyber security. Let's discuss about the six major types of cyber security. The first one is network security. Second one is information security. Third one is application security. Fourth one is cloud security. Fifth one is internet of things security. Last but not the least, the sixth one is mobile security. Let's see what are these one by one. Network security. Network security is the process of taking precautionary measures to protect the data from unauthorized access, modification or destruction. Information security. Information security is also known as InfoSec. 
it is the process of protecting information from any kind of violations in the form of theft abuse or loss application security application security is the process of increasing the security of web and mobile applications to protect data from attackers cloud security cloud security is the set of policies and procedures that aims at protecting cloud based applications and systems internet of things security internet of things security is also known as iot security it is the process of protecting iot devices from vulnerabilities mobile security mobile security is the process of protecting smartphones tablets and other various devices from vulnerabilities hope you all understood what are the different types of cyber security cyber security risk is increasing driven by global connectivity and usage of cloud services to store sensitive data and personal information cyber threats are attacks that you should stand up to to protect yourself from the harm that comes with it let's look at the definition of cyber threats Cyber threats are malicious attacks that damage and steal data which in turn affects the digital life. Let's see what are the sources of cyber threats one by one. State sponsored. The state employs hackers and sponsors them to conduct cyber attack. Terrorist. Terrorists conduct cyber attack to damage the security infrastructure to harm the citizens of a country. Industrial spies. Industrial spies might be an employee of an organization who might misuse his or her login credentials to penetrate into the network to gain confidential data. Organized crime groups. Organized crime groups are group of criminals who conduct cyber attacks for economic benefit. Hackers. Hackers find different ways to break into the security infrastructure of an organization to gain sensitive data. for economic benefit hacktivist hacktivist is a person who gains unauthorized access to an organization system for economic or political benefit cyber espionage cyber espionage is a type of cyber attack to steal data from a competitive company or a government organization hope you all have understood what are cyber threats and what are the different sources of cyber threats what are cyber security tools with the increase in the amount of data the need for protection of data has gone up rapidly so along with this the need of cyber security tools has risen cyber security is designed to protect a business from malware and data breaches through several security measures Several cyber security tools are helping us with firewall protection, parental supervision on digital sites, loss of valuable data, spam filters and so much more. Now let's look at the features of cyber security tools. Regular scanning. Cyber security tools regularly scan the computer system for threats to protect confidential information. Automatic update. Cyber security tools are updated automatically on a regular basis. Quarantine threats. When cyber security tools encounter threats in a computer, they isolate the threat so that it does not spread to the rest of the computer. Single sign-on. Single sign-on in short is called as SSO. Single sign-on is an authentication method that authenticates the user with one set of credentials for multiple applications. Two-factor authentication. Two-factor authentication method authenticates the user in two steps. Hope the features of cyber security tools are clear to all of you. Let's move on to the next topic. It's time for you all to understand about nine popular cyber security tools that every business needs. The first one is CIS or Center for Internet Security. CIS is an ideal solution for small or large business. It focuses on preventing threats and securing an organization's data. It has various services and memberships where CIS Secure Suit is one of the products for commercial use. It includes CIS benchmarks and controls that can be used by organizations. CIS Cat Lite, CIS RAM and CIS Control are several products that offer incident response services and 24 by 7 security. Mimecast. Mimecast is a cloud-based platform that is ideal for small and large enterprises and provides cyber resilience. Cyber resilience is nothing but the ability of an organization to protect respond and recover from cyber attacks 
It offers features such as email protection, threat protection, web protection and information protection. However, the best is email protection as it protects from attacks like ransomware. Inappropriate websites are blocked with the help of Mimecast. Websites are said to be inappropriate if they have any kind of malware or any malicious web activity. Mimecast provides facilities such as archiving files and emailing. Wireshark Wireshark is a network protocol analyzer. It does offline analysis and live capture as well. This cybersecurity tool runs on several platforms such as Windows, Mac, Linux, Solaris. Wireshark does a deep inspection of numerous platforms and provides powerful filters. Wireshark supports several protocols for decryption and gives a detailed report on the entire network for several protocols. Kali Linux Kali Linux is one of the most common cybersecurity tool. Kali Linux is an operating system that comes with at least 300 cybersecurity tools for security auditing. It provides various cybersecurity tools that can be used by organizations to scan network and IT systems for vulnerabilities. Users with varying cybersecurity knowledge can use Kali Linux as it does not require any advanced specialist to work on it. The tools can be used by users themselves as it requires only a single click and it is readily available for use. Kismac Kismac is a wireless network security tool that can be used in the Mac OS X operating system. It contains various features that are targeted towards experienced cybersecurity professionals. It is not a perfect solution for newbies when compared to other tools that provide similar services. It works on scanning wireless networks on Wi-Fi cards such as Apple's Airport Extreme, Airport and other third-party cards. Brute force attack and exploiting flaws such as incorrect generation of security keys are some of the techniques that Kismac uses. If the keys are successfully cracked, this means that the network is vulnerable to attacks. Splunk Splunk is a versatile tool that is used for monitoring the security of a network, searching threat data and conducts network analysis. It works in real time and it is a user-friendly tool that is equipped with functions for conducting searches and a unified user interface. It is used to capture, index and collate data. This is done in searchable repositories and can be useful in generating reports, graphs and various real-time visualizations. Snort Snort is an open source platform that prevents network intrusion and works on streaming data to the screen through network packets. Snort provides a real-time packet analysis and logging, which is an ideal defense after the firewall. It supports various platforms such as Windows, Fedora, FreeBSD, and CentOS. WebTitan WebTitan is a cybersecurity tool that is used for web content filtering and blocking, ransomware, malware, and other cyber attacks. It helps public Wi-Fi providers, businesses, and educational institutions in having complete control of their application. WebTitan has various features such as comprehensive writing, AI or ML, behavioral analytics, vulnerability scanning, etc. The last one is TerraMind. TerraMind is one of the top providers when it comes to employee monitoring software. TerraMind helps in detecting suspicious activity in the system and prevents data loss. TerraMind works with nearly 2,000 organizations across various domains such as manufacturing, finance, healthcare, and technology. So, hope you all have understood about various cybersecurity tools available in the market. Hackers and attackers are improving their methods of cyber attacks. They use complex hardware that can be embedded with corrupt files that cannot be detected easily. If a malware is installed into your system, it can alter the data and can cause a significant loss. To prevent this from happening, it's advisable to install cybersecurity tools on your system. Few benefits of cybersecurity tools are protection from hackers, protection of sensitive data, and compliance of rules. Protection of sensitive data. One of the main advantage of using cybersecurity tool is to protect sensitive data by encrypting the data. Many organizations and businesses take help of cybersecurity to protect sensitive data and also make their customers data more secure. Protection from hackers. Hackers install malware into your system or network to steal valuable information. 
If a hacker is successful in breaching into your system, then he or she can slow down the system and delete valuable information. Cyber security tools help us by using strict protocols that restrict hackers from deleting valuable information or altering the data. Compliance of rules. Cyber security tools are designed keeping in mind all the legal restrictions. They follow data transmission methods. Hope all the benefits of using cyber security tools are clear to all of you. Hooray! We have come towards the end of this course. It's time for you all to recollect whatever we studied throughout this course. Initially, we brushed upon cyber security and its need. Cyber security is a practice of protecting systems and networks from digital attacks. Next, we got to know about six major types of cyber security and they are network security, information security, application security, cloud security, Internet of Things security and mobile security. Later on, we discussed about what are cyber threats and the sources of cyber threats. In what are cyber security tools, you all understood the features of cyber security tools. Later on, you all got to know about nine popular cyber security tools that every business needs. Popular cyber security tools are CIS, Mimecast, Wireshark, Kali Linux, Kismac, Splunk, Snort, Web Titan, and TerraMind. Towards the end, you'll got to know about the benefits of using cyber security tools. Hope this entire course was useful and interesting to you all. Thank you all. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing. So make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to comment on the video. Any queries or suggestions and I will respond to your comments.